All right, tree in the building. It sounds like I'm saying tree, like like the tree, but um, that's what it's basically. It's like a tree outside. Oh. It's just tree. People uh, call me tree or tree tree. Tree tree. Okay, but tree. All right, what's going on with right. you, little lady? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling actually amazing. All right, all right. You sound amazing. Uh, you you sounded in your feel. You sounded in your feelings about a what was it's it's about a week ago now, but you you feeling a whole lot better now, huh? I am. I'm feeling great. I'm on like uh, I guess you could call it like an emotional high. Like I'm feeling good. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Emotional highs is always good, as long as it's natural. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Let everybody know where you uh where you hail from and what you do. Um, I am Tree Chef Tree. Um, I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri, but I am in Springfield, Illinois, right now. Um, I own a catering business called Heavenly Preparations, where on one side I do catering, the other side I do meal prep. Um, and I'm a wife and a mom. I'm just doing what I do, what I love to do. All right, all right. So let's hear your let's hear your background story. You said you uh in the catering business. How how long you been catering for? Actually, you know, I I'm just the type of person that I've been cooking all my life. Like I love to cook, but I was really kind of afraid to kind of step out on faith and really just like put myself into you know, entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that every single body has the same testimony that um, COVID kind of like puts us to step out and do some stuff that we really was kind of scared to do. So that's pretty much what happened. And um, I kind of look back on, you know how Facebook have like the Facebook memory mm -hmm. and like maybe about two years ago, I had posted a status like um, in 2019 I'm going to be a business owner. I don't know how, but I'm going to do it. And then I didn't think about the fact that literally, like, a year later, I was a business owner. So, you know, it's just, it's just something that I kind of do. I felt like I had to, but it ended up being, like, the biggest blessing ever. Well, you know, you, you know, COVID had, had, had many changes in many people's outlook so was you was you working at the time before the pandemic or was you was you still you know still uh manifesting your way in the in the entrepreneurship i was actually working i was working a nine to five i was working at a call center um my husband was working at like a factory or whatever and i was both of them, literally within days lost our job. So uh, at that point, it was just like, what are we going to do? So, and you know, at that kind of, at that point, it was kind of like really hard to get um, unemployment and things like that. And even though they were giving it, it was like a long wait until mm -hmm. it actually came. Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of like, what are we going to do? So I just was like, you know what? I was making videos on YouTube of me, like, making food and stuff. And people was like, oh, how can we get your food on the plate? But I was just really nervous about the selling the plate because I just felt like I wouldn't get support. But, like, literally, as soon as I did it, like, I was getting, like, hundreds of orders. Okay, that's so. what's up. That's what's up. So you, um... So what what the pandemic push you know pushing everything and and you know pushing you forward. All right, so what I was saying what it was pushing you to do what you need to do. Uh you and your husband what, what y'all do? Y'all just sat down with each other and just said, "Look, you know, let's just make this catering thing happen." Like that that's how the conversation was. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. And, you know, uh, where I live, I did not, I didn't really have a lot of support because there were a lot of people that were doing the same thing that I was, that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I'm from St. Louis. So I was like, well, I'm going to go home and do it. Like, it's literally like an hour from where I live. So I was like, I'm going to go home and do it. And it just kind of like really got, 
really big to where people were like, okay, so when you're doing it again? And I was just trying to do it just to pay my rent, you know. But, you know, people were really kind of like pulling on me to do it more. So I just started doing it more. And then people started asking me, like, well, hey, do you do like meal prep? Because I don't really cook. And I would like to have your meals like on a daily basis. So I started doing that. And it was just like, it was just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, you mentioned the fact that uh, you was on you you was on YouTube. So for your social media to get to, to get your name out there and everything you you did start you you did start a youtube how 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 was your youtube journey in 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 this niche going for you um well honestly i really don't i really am not on youtube that much anymore the way that we started out youtube was it was my family and we were like basically doing like mustangs and vlogs uh, mm-hmm so, like, I really don't be on there like that. But, like, every now and then, I would kind of um, incorporate, like, a cooking video or whatever into there. And so people were like, oh, you, like, you cook really good. So then I was like, um, actually, it was my daughter. She's eight. She came to me and was like, you should start cooking on TikTok. So I was like, girl, TikTok is for kids. Exactly. But, but hold on before we get into that part. <laughs> before we get into that part. Because you said you mentioned Facebook as well, so did you? Uh, did, did you like do any of your of your cooking videos or any of your uh, you know meal prep videos on Facebook as well or no? Yeah, I I did, but you know how it is. Like Facebook is my the only platform where I have nothing but family. And mm-hmm. friends on there because you know with Facebook you don't want everybody all in your business so exactly. it's just basically family and friends. All right. And um, sad thing about it is that's probably the platform where I get the least amount of support. You know what? Face same thing with me. Face Facebook is just for family and friends. It's it's not it's it's not for anybody else to be honest with you because you know if you're not like a big celebrity or or you know maybe you know media or anything like that you're not going to have you know you're not going to have that 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 following on facebook you know what i'm saying and another thing with facebook you you literally got to go out there and promote it yourself hey are you on facebook Mm -hmm. yeah I'm, i'm on facebook oh okay well follow me on facebook but you can't just tell everybody to follow you on Facebook because your 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 personal page is private. You know what I'm saying? So right. you you get people that come into your that come into your personal page asking, "Hey, can I be your friend? Hey, who are you?" You know, I I do you know like how they do screening on 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 phones. I do the same thing on Facebook. Like, how did you find me? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if we don't have mutual friends, uh, uh-uh, uh, you getting denied. Right, and then you you hit them up in the in the messenger and be like, yeah, hi, you know, thank you for reaching out to you, but who are you? And and they they don't they they don't mention you back or hit you back or anything like that. Like, okay, right. denied. <laughs> 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 so so TikTok, man. <laughs> you decided to uh you you said that your daughter came came to you. Go ahead and uh tell us how the journey started with that. Um, so yeah, she just like, you know, mom used to do TikTok videos. And so I'm like, Well, I think TikTok is for kids. So she was like, No, you should get on there and do it. So I um, was like, okay. So I made the little account, the um, Cook With Me Tree account. Mm-hmm. And um, I started making videos or whatever. But, you know, I didn't know anything about it. I was, like, super unskilled in it. So I was just taking videos from um, my YouTube that I had done and just kind of, like, migrating them over, just kind of chopping them down mm-hmm. and migrating them over to TikTok or whatever. But then, like, you know, people were really, like, you know, liking my stuff. But at that point in time, I probably had like 200 followers or something like that. Mm-hmm. So um, I kind of like worked my way up to maybe like 2,000 followers. And then I came in contact with uh, 
this other young lady that's very she's very well known um, on TikTok and Instagram, um, just Lex. I mm. came in contact with her, and um, she is like super duper amazing. So I kind of reached out to her, and we were kind of talking back and forth. And so she really kind of helped me, just gave me like a blueprint to kind of like grow my TikTok or whatever. And instantly, like I mean, like within maybe like a day or two. I went from 2,000 followers to like 2,200. Wow. And so at that point, I was like, okay, well, I kind of like this. So I just started making videos more and more. And then I posted this video of um, these uh, seafood fries that I had saw on another TikToker's uh, video. So I wanted to like recreate the, uh, the meal that he did or whatever. And like, it just, from there, it was just like nonstop. Like it just kind of blew up, and I was like, okay, I really so, like this. So mm-hmm. I really kind of got into the whole like I love old school music, so I'm gonna try to incorporate that, and okay. you know, really try to do like you know some little tricks with my video stuff like that. Now, now I'm not a fan of TikTok. I'm really not <laughs> because, <laughs> like, like you said in the beginning, it, it's it was an app for kids, but it just seems that. You know, adults just came in and 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 took it over, pretty much. Uh, but but on some on on some TikTokers, I I like the cooking. I I like the 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 recipe uh, TikTokers. You know, I I like those. I'm in the trucking industry, so you know, I tend to you know I tend to be a little bit more on the trucking. You know, with the trucking TikTokers and all like that. But um. But for like other TikTokers like yourself, it's interesting because y'all be making some, y'all y'all be making some some good looking meals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I came across that video, and you was like, "Yo, somebody stole my <laughs> shit. Are are we doing this now? This is what we doing." And I I looked at it and I was like. So nobody is not coming up with their own originality on TikTok now. They just either they they just either snatch somebody else's stuff or 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 whatever the case. What 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 happened? And what did you how did you kind of find out that that was your video that that other TikToker took? Well, you know, I probably would have never even known that the girl had stolen my video. But, you know, I have, I have, you know, friends that are chefs as well that cook on TikTok and Instagram. And so one of my friends inboxed me and was like, girl, this girl stole your video. So I'm like, what? So I click on the link that she sent me and I'm seeing like my hands in the video, my food. And I'm like, hold up. And the way she did it was like, she literally cropped the video so much that you could no longer see my username in the video. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm looking at this video and all these people are like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Like, oh, it's so creative. And she's like, thank you. (laughs) And so I'm like, okay. So (laughs) so the friend that, (laughs) exactly. The friend that tagged me in the video, she had commented on the girl video and she was like um did you really make this with a bunch of like you know question marks so i commented on it and i was like no she didn't she stole my video so she instantly blocked me and the priest wow but my daughter has tiktok so i went on my daughter's tiktok and she filled out the video up and you know at that point i just felt like at first i felt like okay well let me just call her on it and maybe she'll be like you know well oh i like your recipe or whatever, and then switch things up and tag me in it. But literally, like, other people started coming to me like, this video is going viral on yeah. uh, Facebook under this girl's name. And we're really, like, to some people it may seem like, oh, it's just a video, and people do this all the time. But, like, I don't think people understand that for a content creator, like, we put a lot of work into the stuff that we do. Like, that's money for food. That's money for lighting. You know what I'm saying? That's my time. That's my work. And so, for me to have, you know, try, try, kind of built my platform for a whole year, and, like, this month, this 
this past month has been probably one of the biggest months for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a video like and anybody who creates food content, they want uh, Kel to react to their video. Mm-hmm. This was the first time he'd ever done that to any one of my videos. So that was amazing. And then, like, um, on Instagram, I have been sitting there maybe, like, 2,000 followers for a month. Mm-hmm. And, like, this month, like, literally, like, I'm now at uh, almost 30,000 followers. Like, this was a huge month. And then this particular video, like, literally went viral. I had, I've had i never had a viral video. Like, I put it up at maybe 10 o'clock at night, and by the time I woke up in the morning, it was sitting at a million views. Like, now, now- I was just blown away. Now that's 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 awesome to hear. You know, I wish I had my hand clap right now, but that's awesome to hear. And <laughs> congratulations for you to uh to you know get your video at those type of numbers. But the video, you know, you 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 mentioned that you know all the hard work that you do put into a video, and then another creator st- uh, snatch it up and make it their own. Wouldn't you? I, I got a two part question for you. Um, the first part is, wouldn't you would have been satisfied with her if she would have duetted the video? Most definitely. Most definitely. I would have respected that because honestly, um, I probably have about maybe 200 duets that I'm trying to go through all of them and like, like them and comment and all of that type of stuff. Like, I appreciate that. Because at the end of the day, it's helping to push my video. Mm-hmm. And then it's giving you whatever you need on your side. But, like, oh, I'm not with to Take my stuff and put your name on it. Right, like, right. Now, you said that she took it. She, you know, she took it and, and posted it on Facebook. And it pretty much uh, getting a little bit of traction on Facebook. Was you able to see the video on Facebook to, you know, to call her out on it? Yeah, I went over to Facebook because, like, li- okay, this is the thing. Like, my followers, look, I love them for life because they was down for your girl 100%. So they were coming to tell me, like, look, it's on Facebook because I didn't know it was there. So I found her on Facebook. I found the video, and it's, like, it's, it's doing numbers on Facebook. So I commented, and I just was like, this is sad that a black woman would feel from another black woman like at the height of like where you should be congratulating me. Mm. And so soon as she saw it, she blocked me on there. So next thing I knew, like I couldn't access it anymore or anything like that. So my husband went, I'm like, don't comment because if you comment, she's going to block you and I want to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just watching and it's like person after person after person, like this is not your video this tree video, take it down, like, stuff like that. And, like, everybody, I like, I'm telling you, like, people came from all over everywhere and had my back. They were, like, supporting her page and all kind of stuff. And um, at the moment, like, I'm, you know, I, I have a, a group of friends that are all uh, chefs that cook on TikTok and Instagram. If I said their names, you would know them all. Mm-hmm. But, um... They already had hit me on game what to do. They sent me the paperwork or whatever, the forms that I needed to fill out to do disputes and everything. Now, TikTok would not take the girl's video down. I now, don't know why. Now, let's talk but, about uh, let's let's talk about that because you was able to get it taken down off of off of Facebook, but you're having a hard time. Right. You're having a hard time doing it on TikTok, and 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 that's. I think that's one of the reasons why I am not feeling the app like I used to, because it's like it's like for the person that's done you wrong and then you go back on a video and, and, and talk about it and and try to put, you know, and try to, you know, put the spotlight on them. TikTok will punish you for it. Oh, this video's mm-hmm. taken down because of uh, bullying and all like that. But bro, this is exactly what happened. But bro, they I mean the young lady literally is promoting the video like it's hers but it's not. Right. So how you how, how's that going for you right now with with TikTok? Does that does that I mean, change does that change your perception of the app or are you still are you still with the same with the app? 
I mean, it definitely changes my perception a lot. Um, it makes me feel like super underappreciated. And I'm like, the way that, because a lot of people came and was like, well, I don't understand what the big deal is. And the way that I had, okay, so I've done some collab videos with certain companies or what have you, and I got some stuff coming up, you know. And um, for them, they have to send over paperwork for us to release contents of our videos to them. Mm -hmm. And so if that's the format with them and they can get sued for using our content, then why is it that somebody, just some random person can just take my video and then, you know, TikTok not do anything about it. And, you know, I tried several times, like I submitted this paperwork, like maybe two to three times, you know, asking them to take this video down, but they keep saying like she didn't do anything wrong. Mm. So, I mean, at this point, like, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it makes me want to stop doing videos on TikTok. But then, of course, I can't because, like, at this point, like, I've created, like, traction. And then that's kind of what brings me to my next point is that a lot of times we feel like that the adversity that comes to our life is, like, you know, woe is me and it's the end of the world. But a lot of times it's just a setup for something bigger. And mm -hmm. so for me, that's what it was because between TikTok and Instagram, this video has hit almost 11, 000, or 11 million views. Like, mm. so while she probably felt like she was doing some dirt to me, like literally that did nothing but made my name start ringing in the ears of people that had never heard it. All right, all like, right. Like, it's taco fries. It's literally cut up tortillas that's fried, and I'm at 11 million views. That's all because up. you stole my video, and now all of these people are like, I'm here to support you. Congratulations uh, for that video, man. Nice video, by the way, too. I don't know how it tastes, but Thank this you. is a nice video. Um, yeah. you know, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. You, you know, uh, you, you know if, if that video was on YouTube and you had an issue with another creator, you know, I, I, the process through YouTube is a hell of a lot easier than the process through uh, uh, TikTok. And I, I don't think I, I don't think YouTube would have would have would have would have banned you, blocked you, muted you, or anything like that, because you would have brought to the forefront like, yo, this this creator, you know, took one of my videos. I, I want a copyright strike, all that, right. and see you don't and, and see TikTok don't don't have none of that. You know, none, none, none of the, none of that stuff in place. At least, at least not yet. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. But still, you know, I, I, I get, I, I get, like predetermined because, you know, when you put something up, and you know, somebody, you put all that work into it. And somebody comes along and try to make it like it's theirs, you know, without without giving you the credit, and then you go on to 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 call them out on it, <sighs> and they and and TikTok bans you for it. Nah, man, that you know, I I don't even know if I even want to fuck with y'all anymore. Really, and I'm not gonna lie, like it probably sounds so infantile, but like I shed literal tears like and I'm not gonna even lie to you because and I did because like this was probably the biggest thing for me in my whole little content creator career like this was big for me and I just feel like that in a certain kind of way like you was trying to rob me of that like mm -hmm. and that that's what that's what really hurt that's that really hurt it really did that's what's up all right, Tree. That's what's going on, little lady. Well, thank you for stopping by and uh, giving us your testimony on uh, on your TikTok journey. Much success to you on that. Uh, again, thank you for coming on, and I really do appreciate your time, man. Eh? All right, thank you so much for having me. Not a problem. You are a citizen now, so make sure you go and subscribe to uh, the Lockout Men Podcast Show. And if you have anything My else that you want to promote or 
another viral video that goes viral and you want to let us know what kind of good foods you're cooking over there, make sure you give me a call, man, because I'm all about the food, sis. <laughs> I definitely will. All right. I appreciate you. You take it easy. You have a good Saturday. All right. You too. All right.